I have a supplementary <clears throat> sickness insurance that's through my union, and uh, they denied to pay it because uh, I was uh, you supposed to file the claim within the 60 days of you being out sick. Mm-hmm. And I went past the 60 days, and I was wondering if there's any kind of way that I can still file and get that insurance. Would that be a... Well, it's going to be based off the contract, uh, you know, with, uh, it's going to be based off the supplemental insurance contract. Uh, oftentimes those provisions are preventative. I don't, I wouldn't, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense if um, that it wouldn't allow you to collect benefits from the time and date that you file it. I mean, if you're out, uh, um, maybe you need to go back to work for a day and then file it. And, <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, it didn't make, you know, I can, maybe they wouldn't have to go back and pay you for the 60 days or whatever period it was that you didn't. But, you know, having someone, you know, get a copy of the policy and, uh, uh, you know, it'd be cer certainly something, I'm, you know, I'd look at for you and see if there's something I, you know, think can be done. Yeah, the time provisions or deadlines and policies are usually enforceable, but that's not always, and there's sometimes ways around it. For example, his illness may toll the period of time it actually has to file the mm -hmm, claim. So, mm -hmm. like Joe suggested, he needs to contact an attorney, let them look at it.